What's up everyone, it's Nerp here, and welcome back to Duelist. So I think I got a bit more flow of the game down. Um, I'm slightly better, still a beginner obviously. And so the last video where I give a bunch of keys, people are still commenting on that asking for keys. I don't have any more to give away, but don't fret. All you have to do is go to the Duelist forums uh, where there's a big mega thread where you can just ask for a key. I have that linked in the description of the last video. So head on over there, just ask for an alpha key and I'm sure you'll get one and maybe even more. And this game is, in my opinion, too good to pass up just because you're lazy to ask for a key. And I'm glad a lot of you guys aren't lazy because most a lot of you guys have accounts already. Just feel free to friend me. Um, it's good to play against uh, other beginners like your friends because if you go into ranked, I think it doesn't match it to you with anybody. Uh, so I've been losing most of my ranked matches so far. Number 30 is the worst ranking and then as you win more, you your number gets lowered. Um, I'm actually down to 28 because I've won two matches. I'm not sure if it's just directly correlated to your number of wins and you just your number keeps getting lower and lower, but I don't know. I'm like probably like two and four in ranked right now like two wins four losses something like that but i've only been using the default deck so i'm gonna make a new deck for this video and for the ranked match i play in this video so i'll just call this uh first squad we'll call it a squad try to use the terms duelist wants us to use and first you're going to choose the general which is basically what faction it's going to be in um, I'll just go with this guy, the high main, because I've been using mostly Lion R so far. Oh, that's the only deck I've been using, um, the default Lion R deck. So now, to build your deck, you can choose anything from Lion R or neutral. And I'll start with the things I definitely... I'll start with the creatures, actually. Um, you do start with two resources, so you can kind of have a, a upwards curve... But it's important to get early control, I think, in this game. I think board control is key in this game, not really card advantage. So I'm going to make want, want to make sure I have enough, like, one drops, two drops, three drops, stuff like that. Um, let's start with finding a few two drops. I want at least three two drops of three of each. Uh, I don't really love the two drops here. I'm going to go to the neutral cards, see what I like for the two drops. This guy's good. You put him right down, he deals like... He's like a little ragged wolf. So I'll put, grab three of him. This is pretty good as well. I think this spell is a good trait because... Um, the spell means... You can get rid of a target's ability. It's almost like a purification. Not exactly. So I'll, have include, I'll include three of those. This is a uh, heal two damage. Frenzy. That's pretty good. It allows you to attack all around. Um, provoke is a nice defensive thing. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the... The Piercing Mantis. So those will be my three two drops. Now I want, uh, some three drops. So this guy is a 4 3 for 3, nothing special. This is flying. Flying is like, it's like uh, flying in scrolls, not like flying in magic, where scrolls you can just fly anywhere on the board, but then um, your account gets increased by 1. This you could still attack, so that's good. Not sure if I'm going to take that though. This I want. A nice 3 drop. Opening Gambit, when you play it, uh, you can basically flip any creature, any minion of theirs uh, next to it. It's anywhere on the board. So. I want that. Um, this has rush, that's haste. That's all, a 3 2 um, with haste kind of thing. So, is 2 3 drops enough? I don't think so. Let's go back to Lion R. And I definitely want this. This is a nice big defensive 3 drop. Provoke and Zeal gains plus 2 attack. So, I'll take him. So, now I have 3 2 drops, 3 3 drops. Uh, I'll probably take 2 4 drops now. Uh, oh, we have to go to the next page. So we have a ranged unit. Um, these are big health creatures. This is a high attack creature. I kind of like the big health creatures, so I'm gonna go with the three of these and 
three of these. Maybe I should have more variety of like attackers and defenders back. I really like these, especially with uh, this card, which we're gonna have. Um, the higher health creatures are good. And then these are big drop. I'll have three of the five drop, uh, two of the six drop, and two of the seven drop. I might not get up to them. So I have I can have eight more cards in the deck. Let's go back to the spells or the artifacts and all this stuff. I definitely want Divine Bond. This can, I've actually won a couple of my matches like this, where I just play this on a big healthy creature and they get massive attack. So that's good. And then this is like a little spark type thing. I should probably take a few of those, take two of those for now. And then this is pretty good as well. I'll I'll grab... No, I'd rather actually have a third... Yeah, a third true strike, and then two... Nah. Sun some braces. That could come in handy. I'll, I'll take a couple sun some breakers. I'm actually going to take away a true strike out of third sun some braces. Because the general is going to be there for you the entire game. So it's good to have a strong general. So I don't have any one drop creatures. Not sure if that's going to be a problem. You start with two resources anyways. So I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. But we'll see. Maybe after this match we'll buy a pack. Our first pack. Uh, so let's see. Let's play our custom deck. And I like how it shows the wait time in this game. You know, in scrolls, sometimes when there's not a lot of people online, you just have to sit there. You don't know when you're going to find a match. So I'm going second, and I will kind of like starting out of a two drop into a three drop into a four drop. So I will confirm the starting hand. And he is, uh, sure, John Smith. He's 27, that's his ranking. Sky on second witch, so seems like a pretty good uh, card there immediately get a couple cards to work with I you know what actually this hands doesn't really do that much for me I'm going to get rid of this see what I can find I'll just move up and I'm going to play this but then actually I'm gonna play it here but then I'm not going to I'm not going to attack so I'm kind of wasting his rush ability but I don't want to just give him up to this guy so he's running away your general gains blast. What does blast do again? Uh, okay, that's cool. So you can it can attack like it down an entire row. Now, time to play my large creatures, I guess. Um, move up one because I want to play the five drop this turn, and move you there. I don't want to line up in rows because then he's going to be able to hurt me. Do I want to sacrifice something? Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. Alright. So it looks like I have a slightly stronger board presence early on here. Sand trap. It may no longer move. Okay, so it's like a binding root. A little annoying there. Okay, and he attacks like that. So Blast is like ranged attack, I guess. So he's not taking any damage. So I want to have this lose its durability. Um, let's see. I will... Hmm. 
Hmm. Gonna move you up. Play this. And then... I'm going to... Also play this. And dispel that. So now he doesn't give health to the other guy. But he can deal damage down this row now. Which is a bit annoying. Or no, he can't move. No, this provoke only... Enemies, is that... Oh, that's a good card. Just outright destroys him. And... Hurts them. It seems like this guy knows what he's doing. Uh... I have to somehow get to that thing, though. Um... Let's just... Attack. And I will play... This guy. Uh, right here. And do I want to replace anything? I probably should do the replacing at the beginning of my turn. I will replace this. Oh, I can play a big thing next turn. Okay, this guy's coming out. A 10-10. But like we saw, in this game there are cards that can deal with those things, like uh, we just saw there was a card that just destroyed my minion outright. For the Chris's Mechazor build by 20%, I don't know what that means. It looks scary though. Mechazor is complete lookout. So he is 40% Mechazor build. Oh, so, um, should I just play this giant guy right away? Opening gambit, opening gambit. Do I want to dispel, dispel this guy's powers? Uh, hmm. Let's start by killing you. And now I'm going to move you up, and I can destroy you. And you don't get, there's no nearby guys, so you don't heal anybody with that. And then, sorry, phone's ringing. And then I will dispel, yeah, I don't think I, I want this thing to go away. So I'll dispel that. Um, actually gonna play that also I'll just move you all the way over there and that will be my turn I don't really want to do anything else Sorry guys, um, so I missed a turn there, and it looks like he almost cleared my board. Uh, what I'll do... I'm not gonna damage you right now. I'm going to... Play this thing. And... May as well play this as well. Uh, I'll replace that. That's my turn. So I'm thinking maybe I can get a surprise win. If this thing can survive this turn, this giant 7 drop, I have 2 divine bonds, and that means you can get to 30 attack. So if I can somehow deal damage there, 
Oh, that's more Mechazor building. What happens when that gets to 100%? Uh-oh. I think you're at 80% now. What's going on here? What's the Mechazor? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know, is the Mechazor build complete? But I think I win the game. Either of these have provoke? Oh, they do have provoke. So I have to figure out how do I how do I kill this? Oh, I have a uh, this guy. Dispel one nearby space. So let's put this down. Let's dispel that. And now I can play both of these, and I can no provoke, no provoke. So now move you out of the way, move you here, give you this, and give you this, and smash him! Well, I won that. I won my third ranked match. That, that card that increases your attack by your health, that's really good on high health units, wow. Uh, so I get some gold, I go down to rank 27. And more gold, I guess that was one of the daily quests, maybe. And now I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to buy a pack here. So what do you need? One spirit orb for 100, what happens now? So now what? Just put it in. So do I get one card? How does this work? Oh cool, you get a bunch of cards. So what did I get here? Uh, it was the right line, I've seen people play that. Solarity um, allows it to, I guess, move twice per turn or attack twice per turn, I think. Basically, it gets to do two things per turn. Um, and the, the rarity is in the middle. I think the blue is rarer than the white. So, Lionar Kingdom, so I could use that in my deck. This is for Magmar, um, Songhai. I could use these. So, this is neutral. Whenever you cast a spell, all of your. Oops. Whenever you cast a spell, all of your Arcanist minions gain plus two health. I don't know if I have any Arcanist minions. And wow. There's a five drop that's an eight eight next to the general. I think I'm gonna use him. Add another five drop. Or replace the other five drop because remember I like guys with high health. So do I get to just that's cool. So it's, I guess it's not that expensive to get cards in this game. Maybe uh, it's rare to get good cards though. Shows, yeah, so you get new cards up top. It shows you where they are. How do I make that here? So you just click on it. I have one, oh, I only got one copy. Okay. That makes more sense. So it is a little bit uh, hard to obtain the cards that uh, easily. But this is a free to play game, so I'm not sure about how the. How the. Uh, game's gonna be able to be progressed and get all the cards okay so now I'm probably gonna do some more ranked and try to finish this last trial it's so hard so thanks for watching like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content uh, follow on twitch and Twitter and all that stuff and I'll see you next time